During the development of an automation project, major components may be available for testing at different times. So how do you begin testing the I.O. cabinets and wiring without the controllers and engineering station? The answer is Pernetta. Pernetta Basic is provided free of charge and allows the user to perform I.O. network analysis and I.O. channel testing. Pernetta does not require any PC7 software and therefore can run in the absence of an engineering station. As a matter of fact, all you need is a PC and a network connection. Let's take a look. There's no installation or licensing for Pernetta, so once you download the application, just launch the executable. Once Pernetta launches, we see there are two major functional areas to it, network analysis and IO test. Let's take a look at network analysis. Network analysis launches in online mode and gives you a quick overview about which devices are installed on your Profinet network and how they are connected to each other. Here we can see the PC that Pernetta is running on, the SPHA rail it's connected to, and the Y switch that converts from the R1 Profinet network to the S2 network, and the ring comprised of three CFUs and another scale and switch. The built-in export function allows you to create graphical representation for documentation and XML format for comparison purposes at a later time. Offline mode allows you to examine a reference network which was previously exported to disk. Comparison mode allows you to identify differences between the current network and a reference network saved. For example, a reference saved during factory acceptance test. The I.O. test function supports the checkout of wiring from the I.O. channels to the respective devices, such as terminals in the control cabinet or transmitters and final elements in the field. And it can do this without the need for the programmed controller or experienced engineering support. So let's see how that's done. From the I.O. test tab, select the I.O. device of interest, for example, an ET200 SPHA rail of I.O. The green check mark indicates that device is available for I.O. test. A double click the SPHA rail and a pictorial of the rail and its installed I.O. modules are displayed. The parameters for each I.O. module must be specified and are typically loaded from a stored file. Diagnostic messages can also be displayed for the SPHA rail and all its subordinate modules. Select the Force a Monitor button to download the parameters and display the runtime values of the I.O. modules. The green bar indicates that we are in Force mode and we will be directly controlling and monitoring the I.O. channels. Now that we have done that, double click on an I.O. module to display the pertinent channels. If we double click on the DQ module, a control panel pops up allowing us to turn on individual channels to power field devices or use meters to verify the wiring is properly installed within the control cabinet. In a similar manner, we can click on an analog input module and a panel representing its channels is displayed. Presently, we have a 4 to 20 milliamp transmitter connected to the first channel. Pumping up the pressure results in the associated current at the input. Causing a fault generates a diagnostic message by the module and displayed in Pernetta. Here we can see the analog input card has identified an open circuit fault on the first channel. We can add the DQ relay card and energize the relays to control higher voltage devices. We can also add a DI card and monitor for contact closures initiated by switches and other devices. And of course, analog output channels can be driven at specific output currents, for example, 4, 12, and 20 milliamps for testing purposes. So we can see Pernetic can be a very convenient tool for factory acceptance testing and driving elements out in the field. If you'd like to hear more details about Pernetta, go to the Siemens support portal, search Pernetta, and download this free application.